change that keeps us to do what we want to do. Or lets us do what we want to do, I should say. And in that cycle of change, we get a second chance. It's our mission statement. Now for many of you who has followed me in this podcast from December, I will say this. It has been about change. It has been about maintenance, self care, it has been about dealing with worry, dealing with stress, dealing with all of the anxiety. Because I will say this, and I am an example of this. When you take anxiety and it surrounds you, it's put upon yourself. And in that anxiety, you're not free. You're worrying, you're stressed. And you can never be free. Now, it's a statement. Freedom. What is it? It's freedom to make so much money and to sit and do nothing with it. Or it's meant to be free to maybe go to Europe for one month and enjoy life and then come back and carry on with your job. Or freedom is to work wherever you want or freedom is to have the time and using the time to do it on what you want to do time is a punisher of all. When we're born, we may feel we have all the time in the world. And then when you get to around my age, which is going to be 37 in June, Time punishes you because time moves so rapidly. Where you thought you had that time to do stuff, it catches up on you. All the decisions, everything that you neglected. All the errors and everything else punish you. Suddenly, you feel everything that you read in your lifetime, everything that you've done, everything that you feel that you've done, you feel you have to do it over. You have to do your whole life over. 
but you can't because you don't have the time anymore and that aches and that kills you deep down inside you wish you had that one time to do everything that you wanted to do and you wish you could do it like you did it before in the past it takes work it takes a solitude of work and effort you may never get your years back and you can't redo your life as much as you want to do but you can start building small and as I mentioned on this podcast many times small steps lead you there as I read in the compound effect by one author small steps will lead you to where you want to go and you don't realize it at a time you may think you haven't accomplished anything you have to redo your life then you see your portfolio rather it's financial rather it's written rather it's everything else and you see your body of work that you have contributed to the world and it makes you feel good inside it makes you feel that you have accomplished what you set out to do and some people have never done it some people struggle through life's battles never can say that they have done whatever they have done in their lives besides that recreational drug that has destroyed them I say this time punishes everyone but you're doing the things that you need to do in life you're taking that time to clean the email you're taking the time to do whatever you need to do and we all fall back and don't do it but I know there's a promise land and if we do take care of the home then we will be rewarded and on a note fits in with Easter because it is a renewal we go through so much pain so much hardship so much stress so much anxiety in the month of March that when April comes you have a new vision for what you want to do in life it's spring It's time to renew your passions of life. 
and may time reward you. This has been the Joseph Evaldi Podcast. Check me out at Twitter. My handle is Passage of Joe. Or look me up on Facebook. Just type in capital J. My name. And that's my fan page. This has been the Joseph Evaldi Podcast. Until next time. Take care.